hepatitis B serological marker and the mnemonic is SEMA. So from this SEMA we will explain everything. Okay, so hepatite, uh, so first of all we will have antigen and then we are going to have antibodies. And but you have to remember that uh, the antibodies against core antigens they are IgM and IgG. So IgM, IgGs are the antibody against the core antigen. Now you guys can see here, so first of all we will be having antigen and then we will be having antibodies. So HBS antigen, HBE antigen M is IgM and A is for acute. So in the acute infection we will see HBS antigen, HBE antigen and IgM. That is for acute. Chronic I will explain later but just, uh, uh, these both are same but just put as chronic is the, I. In acute as you see IgM, IgM is for the acute, I mean it is immediate antibody, earlier antibody. So that's why in acute infection we will see IgM, in the chronic infection we will see IgG. Just put, uh, instead of IgM, just put IgG, this will be chronic infections, okay. But here this E is, which is related with infectivities, I will explain it later. Now, just produce antibodies now sima say i am widow recently okay this sima is a girl she say i she said i am widow recently if so here was antigen now we are going to produce antibody so just produce antibodies to this s antigen and it we, it's mean that there is immunization which is also called vaccination so anti hbs or you can also say hbs antibodies or anti hbs both are the same thing so i just produce ant uh, antibodies again the surface antigen and that is called what this this is what we see in the immunizations so one thing you re you remember this from mnemonics but another things during immunizations or vaccination we just give the surface antigen only give the surface antigen so the antibodies will be only only anti hbs the antibodies will be only to surface antigen so that is this that is the that's the concept now if we produce antibodies to against this E, it will become window pass. But in this E is very near with M, so that's how we will say IgM. Okay, as window pass is occur like uh, uh, before the six week, before the six month, okay, so it coming in the, it's coming very near with the acute infections. So that's why we will see uh, there is IgM in the window pass. I will explain it in the graph, okay, then you will understand very easily. So just produce antibodies to the S immunization, just produce antibodies to the E, which is, which is called anti-HBE or anti-HBE uh, antibodies, whatever you say, but in the book they mention anti-HBE, okay, so just, just this will, just you just remember this. And this E is very near with M, so I put M here. So in the window pass, I see anti-HBE plus IgM. Okay, now if I produce antibodies to both these antigen, then this means there is, this is the recovery pass. Okay, and this is recently mean recovery. So anti-HBS, anti-HBS and anti-HBE. Okay, these are the antibodies again, this both. And, and the recovery will be occur late. So the antibodies against the core will be IgG. So here is that. Now for chronic infections, I will put the same here, like uh, HBS antigen, HBE antigen. Okay, but instead of IgM, I will put IgG. So because IgG is coming with the chronic infection or late antibody. So in the chronic, we will see IgG. In the in acute, we will see IgM. But as I, as I told you, is that this is related e is related with the infectivities i mean transmissibility okay and it is started with e so hbe antigen if the antigen is present it means there is high infectivity if antibodies against hbe is present then it's mean low infectivity so the chronic infection will be two the one will be the high infectivity another one is the low infectivities if you put the same is here just put igg here this is high infectivity okay acute is also uh, acute is also high in acute there is also high infectivities as we as we see the uh, uh, hbe antigen okay now in the low infectivity just produce antibodies to this e antigen and it will become low infectivity now the same hbs the same igg is for chronic so this is the for the chronic infection so the same the sima say i am widow recently so uh, antigen to s antigen to e igm that is seen in acute uh, antibodies to H will be immunize S immunizations. Antibody to E will be window pass. Okay, and agar, uh, if we invert this W, it will become M. So IgM is also be can be seen in the IgM can be seen in the window pass. Just produce antibodies against these both two. That will be recovery. Okay, recently recovery. And recovery is late, so we will put IgG. Just do a, f a little bit practice on it, and you will never forget it. This is the graphical, graphical presentation of hepatitis B serological marker. These are months and these are years. 
the antigens are going to produce uh, uh, like uh, before the appearance of sign and symptom or before the appearance of antibodies. So up to two months, you see this is uh, this this area is the intubation period, and the in antigens are produced in the intubation period. So the core antigens is also produced in the intubation period. But at the second month, there will be production of uh, antibodies against this core antigen. So the core antigen will disappear at second month. And the start of uh, the, the antibodies against this core antigen will start to appear. Now the anti-HBC, which is also called uh, antibodies against the core antigens, are IgM and IgG. These are the first antibodies are going to appear. Now you, you can see this line is for the uh, anti-HBC. So it may be uh, IgM. Uh, which is for the acute up to six months and then later on this is for this is uh, this will be going to be IgG which is for the chronic infections. Now, acute infections the anti uh, the, uh, the uh, NTHBC will be IgM as you already know. Now you see the SEMA this one is IgM which is NTHBC and this is the surface antigen and this is the envelope antigen like from the SEMA so this is you, what you see in the acute infections. Now in the window phase just invert this W, it will become M. So there will be IgM. As you guys can see, this is IgM. It's, it's, it will be up to the six month, like mean in the acute phase. So the window phase somehow come in the acute phase. That's why we will say there will be IgM. And there will be also NTHB. As from the, this pneumonia, I say, uh, just produce antibodies to the E, it will become NTHB. Now, Later on, we are going now to the chronic infection. Uh, from six months onward, we are going to we are going to enter into the chronic infections. In the chronic infection, now, now from the six, so from this point, this this line is now for this NTHBC is for IgG. Okay, so this is for IgG is in the chronic. As I already said, in the chronic infection, we will say high infectivity and low infectivity. Up to this, just one thing is changing here. The one thing which is changing here that is only IgG. The same the hair in acute was IgM and here is IgG. So just put also this anti-HBS is like here, you see, this anti uh, this HBS antigen. This HBS antigen was in acute. Now this line is moving also into the chronic, okay, into the whole area. So we are having a HBS antigen. This HBE antigen, this is also coming up to here. So up to here, this, this is antigen. This is E antigen, which is for infectivity. So this is the high infectivity so the infectivity is here is very high infectivity because we are having in, uh, in uh, HBE antigen but as you see this line is finishing here and from if you move downward then now here is there is the production of NTHBE NTHBE production is occur so if we have we are having NTHBE it's mean we are entering into the low infectivity still both are this is also chronic and this is also chronic but this chronic was high infectivity because we are having HBE antigen they are moving up to here but from this point we are producing anti-HBE so we are we will be called it the low infectivity for the window phase uh, you can also remember it from here that just invert this W it will become M so IgM we will see IgM in the window phase and this invert this M it will become E so NTHBE is also seen in the window phase. NTIgm and NTHBE